Hi, I'm Lee Teschler with EE World and Design World. I'm here with Alan Wadsworth from Keysight, and we've got here a power analyzer. Alan, it used to be that you'd characterize transistors with something called a curve tracer. That's right. Those days are long gone. Now you need something like this. Can you uh, talk to our viewers about exactly what this does and how it replaces curve tracers? Sure. So, again, this instrument here is designed to go to uh, up to 1,500 amps and uh, 10,000 volts. But one of the key differences between this and a curve tracer, actually this is a digital instrument, so even though this looks like a um, smooth curve, these are actually discrete points, which I can show you very quickly here. Um, so actually it takes digital measurements, that's one key difference, and also it's PC based, so it's much easier to ma manipulate the data uh, and do all kinds of post-processing, things like that. Also, unlike a curve tracer, uh, we can actually measure capacitance up to 3,000 volts, and we can also actually measure gate charge as well. So we can actually do complete uh, device component characterization on a power device, which of course curve tracers can't do. Right. And um, at this show, there's a lot of talk about the, the uh, wide band gap devices. How yes. does this thing behave with those? Yeah, that's a good question. Well, of course, uh, a lot of what you do with wide band gap is being able to measure, for example, things like uh, low on resistance, which we can do. We can actually measure uh, even sub milliohm on resistance at hundreds of amps of current. Uh, again, uh, we can also measure uh, even negative threshold devices. We can measure the capacitance on those very easily with our fixturing. Uh, very simple to do. So uh, the wide band gap stuff for us is actually quite easy to do. Again, we can go to the high voltages and currents that those devices require as well. Let's see. And those come in a variety of different packages. If you've got these things that are in different packages, how, does, how do you uh, work with them on a device like this? Yeah, it's a good question. So, uh, of course, we, uh, we tend to use the standard TSOP packages um, I'm, uh, for the uh, power just because it's standardized, it's easy. We have universal um, socket adopters where you can actually use any kind of package. Uh, you can create that for yourself. We actually also do have Tektronics adopters. So if you have an old curve tracer and you have lots of test fixtures for that, you can actually use that as well, saving you the cost of developing new test fixtures. Well, that's pretty, uh, a pretty interesting instrument you have here, I must say. It goes well beyond the old curve tracers I knew about. So thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Yeah, I think, uh, again, uh, hopefully somebody, people will come by the booth and take check it out. Thank you.